Hey, welcome back to the Krabby Dice. So we're going to be looking at Azul Summer Pavilion. This is going to be the playthrough video. Click on the link below if you just want to see the rules. And also, if you want to see my thoughts, they're at the end of this video. You can click on the link below and it'll take you directly there. So at this part of the video, sometimes I like to talk about the theme. But, you know, for these type of very light games, there is no theme. <laughs> okay, we're just getting tiles from factories and putting them on our boards to build pavilions but not really it's just a set collection game where we'll be collecting sets and placing them on our board to score for in-game and end game points okay so that's essentially what you're doing um okay let's just get started right away i won't waste more of your time three things before we start please like subscribe and comment on my videos that would be fantastic let's get started all right welcome to turn one azul summer pavilion so Follow along, I'll teach you how to play. If you don't know how, you probably do. It's Azul. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to just play a two-player game. You can play up to four. Usually I play three, but just to show you what each player is going to do, I'll play two. Uh, also, I'm condensing this. It should be a circle, but just to save some space, I'm uh, sort of smashing it together. So what do you do in Azul? Well, first phase is grabbing tiles. I'll show you how that's done, right? So you're going to take one group of one color from a factory. So I'm first player. What do I want to do? Uh, looking at the board, what you want to do is sort of <laughs> get a game plan and sort of pick a color and sort of go with it. So I think I'm going to go yellow because maybe my next move is going to be getting a yellow and a pink here. Also, this game introduces the new wild uh, tile system that doesn't exist in other Azul's. And I'll show you just how that works. All right, so for this round, the first round is going to be purple. So uh, for my first tiles, I think I'm going to take these three yellow. So I'm just going to sit on the side of my board and I'll get to place them during phase two on my board. All right, so whatever was left over in the factory gets put in the middle. All right, now we're gonna go to player two and looking around, the next best option probably will be get the orange because then over here he'd be able to get the three orange. So I think he's gonna grab, um, should he grab these or these first? Doesn't really matter, you get three either way. So let him go for these ones. He's gonna take three orange, blue ones, gonna go back in the middle and it's that easy. Because we're two, this is gonna go really fast. I think what I'm gonna do is grab some more yellow. Oh, sorry. Okay, so with the wild, every single turn, there's a wild, and these are not a color you can actually take. So for example, I couldn't take two purple as my color because those that is the wild color, all right? The only way to get a wild is to take a different color, and when you take a different color, you're actually gonna take only one wild if it's present, even though there's multiple wilds. All right. If there's only wilds present, you can take one wild. All right. So for example, if there's four purples in the middle and no other color, you just basically take one purple. Anyway, I'll show you how that's done. So I'm going to take these two. And again, these are going to go in the middle. Also, with this game, compared to the other Azul's, one of the only ways to get negative points is by taking the middle. You're going to lose points equal to the amount of tiles that you've taken. All right. So we'll keep, keep that in mind when we go. All right. So we already know what he wants to do. Or she. I'm going to call him Billy from now on. So Billy's going to go grab two orange and a wild. So we, I'm focusing on yellow. He's on orange. So we're already on different sides of the board, which is going to cause uh, less conflicts as we go. And now I have a choice. <laughs> I can either go in the middle or uh, grab from this factory. Getting a single tile doesn't seem like a good plan. So what I think I'm going to do is I want to sort of fill up the blue section that's next to my yellow section that I'm going to fill up so that I can get these statue bonuses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the blue. So by grabbing blue, I'm also going to grab a wild. Remember, you always grab a wild if it's there. And I'm going to take the first player marker because uh, it's there. <laughs> All right, so I'll be first player during phase two and during next round. Now, whenever you take the first player marker, you're going to lose points equal to the amount of tiles that you've taken. So boom, just like that, I lost four points. And I'm on one. You can never go below one. So if I get negative points again, well, I'd stay at one. So I'm going to place this on my board or place it on the side. So now it's going to be his turn. And I think what he's going to do is um, to just force me not to he wouldn't take one of these because then they'd slide in the middle and then I would get two tiles. So to force me not to get more than one tile, I think he's just going to take the green tile here. Now I'm going to do the same strategy. I'm just going to take the orange tile. And then he's going to take the other green tile. These are going to slide to the middle. Oh, he also gets the purple. Sorry about that. Uh, then I'm going to grab the blue tile, I guess. Then he'll take the red tile. And there you go, we're done. So that was phase one. So let me toss this over actually. 
get more room so you can see what I'm going to do on my board. All right, so phase two. This is where we're actually going to play our tiles on our board. So let me just show you how this works. All right, so there's the colored sections, and those are where these tiles go. They go into their respective colored sections, except the middle. I'll explain that later. And essentially, the number here tells you how many uh, tiles you need to turn in to place a tile there. So for example, I have four yellows. What I can do is turn in three yellows into the box and put this one on the four, like that. All right, sort of how it goes. Also, I do have wilds. All right, so if I wanted, I can actually turn in all of this for a six yellow. And I put one of these on the six. I mean, the sixes and fives are nice in this game because you only need two of them and you go next to the fountains to get three tiles from the section here. But um, the ones through fours are actually really good too because they score end game points. So maybe I'll go for a number four strategy or something. So um, let's see, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? You also sort of want to build next to each other so that you score points. So for every tile that you place next to another tile, you'll score an extra point. So, okay, so let me just decide that for sure. Oh, also compared to other Azul's, you get to carry over four tiles into the falling round. So already I only have one of these uh, reddish ones. So I'm gonna carry that over to the next round. Um, so I gotta decide, what do I wanna do? I can also carry over all these three blues if I really wanted, which might not be such a bad idea. Um, yeah, let me do that. I'm okay. I like to carry over a lot of tiles because it'll be more flexible next turn when I can get even more of that color so I can put a gigantic score out there. Um, you know what, just to show you how that works, how to show you how everything works, I'm just gonna go crazy and put one on the six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. Now all of this, I'm gonna go into the, into the tower, sorry about the noise. And there you go. So I scored one point. Pretty simple, and I'm gonna carry over four tiles. Let me do the same thing for uh, uh, Billy over here. I think what they're gonna do though, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They have seven, so what they're gonna do is they're gonna turn in three orange. So remember, these are wild. And to use the wild, you need to turn in at least one of another color, right? I can't use three wilds to represent an orange. I need to send at least one orange because this is the one that's gonna go on the board. So I think what he's gonna do is gonna turn in three here to put it on the three. So that's going to score him a point. And then he's going to use four here to put on the four. So you already put on the three and the four. That one's going to score him two points. All right. Then he's got two greens and a red left over. I think he's going to carry those into the next turn. Because greens are going to be wild next turn. So it's good that he got some greens. And there you go. <laughs> that was phase one and phase two of turn one. So now there's a reset phase. Reset phase is pretty simple. First thing we're gonna do, I'm just gonna show you the first round. I'll skip this for the following round. Sorry about the clinking. We're gonna refill the factories. Put four tiles per factory. Uh, missing one, here you go. lay them all down there you go next uh, we're gonna change the round tracker we're gonna put this back in the middle and anyone that has tokens on their board just put them back on the side of your board just like this and there you go we're done turn one it's pretty quick let's go to turn two all right turn two let's just pick this up because you sort of know how to play now so I'm again first player hasn't changed because I took that last round and let's go. So green is the wild. So I might want to take something with green. So I think I'm going to take from this factory here. I'm going to take two orange and a green. I'm going to steal some of these oranges from player two over there because I don't want him to fill it up and make it too easy for him. There we go. I kept those. Now it's going to be his turn. So again, he's looking for green or orange, but there's not much of that left. What's the most tiles he can grab? He wants to build in the purple next to his, uh, is orange actually so he can get that statue so I think he's gonna go for purple and looking around I think he's gonna grab these two purple or he can wait for more purple to get into the middle but now 
So you're gonna grab these two right now. And they're gonna go in the middle. Back to me. So I'm working on orange, green, blue. Uh, so I can take this blue and I'll come with this green. There you go, there's two tiles. It's gonna go in the middle. And now Billy's gonna go and he doesn't really want yellow. Um, I think what he's gonna do is he wants to go first player and he really wants uh, more of those purples. So he's gonna go take these three, all right? And he's gonna lose three points. There you go. That's my turn. Um, I do need the red, so I think I'm gonna take the two red here. Then Billy's gonna go. He needs purple and purple. You know what? He's gonna take the two yellow because yellow is gonna come up as a wild eventually, so that's not a bad idea. It's gonna go in the middle. Then I'm gonna go. I guess I'll take the orange because orange is gonna be wild next turn, so maybe it'll boost that color up. So let me take orange. Then Billy's gonna grab more purple no doesn't we'll do the same strategy as the first round he doesn't really want to add those because then i'll get two tiles so which of these two does he want uh i guess he'll take a red's only wild at the end hmm i guess he'll take another purple sure why not and then i'm gonna grab the red this is gonna go in the middle then he's gonna grab the what does he need he's gonna grab the purple again why not and then I'll grab another, another red. Then he's gonna grab the orange. Then I'll grab the blue. And there you go, we're done. <laughs> phase one again. All right, let's do phase two. Let's look at my board here. What do I wanna do? So these oranges I might carry over into next round because they're gonna be wild. So let me start off with that. And greens are wild this turn. All right, so what I really want to do is start filling up some of these blues up here. So I can go one, two, and three. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I can do six if I really wanted. Then I'm going really for high numbers throughout my board, <laughs> which, which would be good sort of in the long run because then I can fill up the inside parts as a combo later on. Um, I do have a lot of red too. Okay, I think I know what I want to do. All right, let's do it. Um, actually, I'm not first player. I got to go with the other player first. Whoops, my bad. So what he's going to do right away, he's going to turn in one purple to put it here. Then he's going to turn in two purple to put it here. So that's going to score him one point and then two points. So that's three points, one, two, three. And now we finish the, uh, the statue. So the statue lets him take two tiles from the middle here to put into a supply. And you know what, because green is wild, might as well take green. So that's gonna be one. And I think he's gonna take also a, should he take another purple? Cause then he's gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six. He can turn in six purple to put another six here. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll try to finish the purples. He's gonna take this one. All right, so now he's got to play more. See, let him do one, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. He's gonna put on a six. He's gonna to toss all of these into the bin. So that's gonna score him three points. So he's off to the races, I'm kind of lagging behind. Um, now he's got this left. He wants to use his green because it's the wild and won't be wild again, but he's gonna keep his orange for next turn, I think, because the orange is gonna be wild next turn. And I think what he's gonna do is keep his He'll keep his red as well. He doesn't need to play it. And I think he'll just, with the rest, play a three yellow. Just put it down. There you go. That'll score him one point. All right, now we go down to me. Now we get to refill this after somebody's turn. Just take two random tiles. Oh, wow, that's a lot of yellow. All right. Now let's do my turn. Here, let's check it out. I do have blues, reds. So blues and reds. 
So what I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to get a bonus here. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn in one red to put it here. So that's one point. And I'm going to turn in two red to put it in here. So that's two points. All right. Then I'm going to turn in four blue to put it here. That's one point. Sorry for the clicking. <laughs> and then I'm going to turn in three blue put it right here that's gonna be two points now again I got the statue as well just like the other player the statue gives you two tiles so I get to look in the middle here I do have two red I mean I can go get another two red and then place four red here um, I could also get uh, a green well it's green as well this turn so it doesn't really matter uh, I could also get the yellows and place yellows because I'm trying to fill out the yellow as well. But you know what? Since I'm already halfway through red, I'm just going to grab the two red. And then I'm going to turn in four red to place it right here. Unfortunately, alternatively, I could place it here and it'll score me three points. But I'd rather place it here to give me more options in the future. So I'll do that. I'll take a chance. It's only two point difference. So that's going to give me one point. There you go. We're done turn two. So is it a reset phase again? that easy four 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 so if you ever run out of tiles in the bag you're just gonna dump the discard into the bag and redraw there you go uh, we're gonna move the marker put this back and anyone who has wild or wild reserved tiles are gonna take them back and just like that, we're ready to go to round three. All right, here we go. Turn three, and it's going to be uh, the second. We're Billy. <laughs> I keep forgetting his name. Who's going to go pick first? And I think what he's going to try to do is get the purple here. So if he can get a six purple, he's going to grab three tiles from the middle, which would be fantastic. Unfortunately, there are only three purples, so he's going to have to figure out how to get three more. And I think he's going to have to shoot for some oranges. Actually, thinking about that plan, maybe it won't work out for him. Uh, there's not enough tiles. Also, the orange, he probably won't work on that this round either because orange is wild this round, so he doesn't want to use all his wilds to place on just orange. Uh, so what else could he do? I mean, he could fill out the rest of the purple here and then get the... and keep four purples for the following turn. Uh, actually, that's not a bad idea. He can carry over the purples to the following turn and then finally fill out the six or the five to get the three tiles. Uh, he could also try to get a 5 and 6 of anything um, to place here so he can get a bonus as well. Alright, so let's let's do it. So what's the most he can grab is 2 anyway. I don't see any way to get more than 2 tiles. Uh, let's see, orange as well. He can get 3 blue actually. Does he need blue? Blue's all the way on the other side of the board. Sure, let him get 3 blue because he notices I want to get blue so he doesn't want me to get the blue. So he's going to grab these. And I'm like, dude, what the hell? Why are you taking the blue? This is gonna go in the middle, and now I gotta decide. So I can do, uh, I think I'm gonna take red, cause I'm gonna try to fill up the red section here and maybe get the, uh, I won't be able to get it this round, or maybe I'll just get this one, eh, we'll see. So I'll get these three, cause it comes with a wild. So remember, if there's a wild, you must take a wild. And you must take a wild, you don't have a choice. Um, all right, so Billy's gonna go. He's working on blues, I guess, right now. Um, so he wants to get at least a higher number blue to get on that side. So, uh, orange is wild, so I think he's gonna grab a blue and an orange. He's gonna go in the middle. And now, what do I do? Now, I will let's see, I'm still working on orange or wild, so I got reds. I can keep going for reds. That's not a bad idea. Or I can go get some purples. Sure, let's go get some purples. Grab two purples. He's gonna go in the middle. Ooh, now tough decision for Billy. Does he go grab the middle at this point? But he's gonna get some negative points. Um, I think he might do it just for the blues. Or does he grab the yellows? Does he care about yellows? Let's see, yellows are going to... Uh, yellows are way on the other side of the board for him. So let him look at the bonuses here also. You're going to notice that filling up certain areas are different points. So purple is the most and working way down to the middle section. Uh, 
I think what he might want to do is try to get a lot of one color so he can place it on the six here. So he has a combination here where he can get the bonuses easier. Um, so what he's going to do is since he's got blues already, he's going to grab the blues. He's going to grab this and there's no wild. So that's fine. He's going to lose three points. One, two, three. And look at that. We're tied. So he's going to stay first player. Then I'm going to go. I think I'm going to have an easy choice. I'm just going to grab the yellows. And then he's gonna go and looking at this I think he's gonna grab the red and then I'm gonna go I uh, think the red or the purple let's look around so the red or the purple I guess I'll take the red so he's gonna go in the middle now he's gonna choose I think he's gonna choose the blue and then I'm gonna choose the purple and then he's gonna choose the green and there you go we're done look at that pretty simple all right, he's first player, so he's going to place first. So I think he's going to place for Sean the six here. I'll show you how that's done. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Six blue. He's going to place this on the six middle. Now, the middle, if you see there's no color there. That means that you need one of each color on all the leaves. So you can't put another blue on the inside, but you can put a red here, an orange here, a yellow here, a purple here, and a green here, for example. So let's toss those into the bank. Okay, greens are wild, uh, oranges are wild. Um, he could use two oranges, well, let's see, let's see, let's see. Could he get the five? One, two, three, four, five. He could get the five and place the five right here. So the next turn he can get just the purple here to fill up this section here. Um, then he's gonna be left with a green. And he can use one green to place it right here. Uh, which wouldn't be so bad. Oh, he scored a point for that. Sorry, forgot to score him a point. Can't forget the score. Uh, he could use two oranges there. All right, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spend four to put on four red. So he's gonna put it here. It's gonna score him another point. So he's gonna try to get the orange here and the, maybe the red here to score some more bonuses. He's gonna go back in here. And now he's got an orange and a green. Hmm. Maybe I didn't play that smart, but uh, does he put the one green here? And green is already passed. I think he's gonna carry the green for next turn. Maybe he'll get more greens to place over here. And the orange, I think he's gonna also keep for next turn to try to get a maybe a two or a one or maybe a higher orange to place up there. So there you go, he's gonna place it right there. So he's done. All right, so I think what I want to do for sure is put in the five here. And that's because it'll give me three free tiles from the center, which would be fantastic. And I can even get maybe the three yellow to place on the three here so I can start filling this up. Anyway, so let's get going. Uh, so yellow, so one, two, three, four, five. There you go, there's five. Remember, oranges are wild. So I'm going to place this on the five here. That's going to score me two points. One, two. That was a great move. Now that's going to give me fountain. Fountain, three tiles from the middle. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is take, I can take three yellow. Although I can also take, oh, there's no red. <laughs> I, told, I was gonna say, I was gonna take red to get three red so I can place on the six here, but there's no red, so forget about the red. There's also no orange for the wild, so forget about orange. Purple, uh, I could grab some purple, but purple's way on the other side of the board. I don't really, I'm not gonna really focus on purple right now. So I think I'm going to take the three yellow. There you go, just like that. For finishing this. And then what I'm going to do is spend four yellow to place it on the four. So that's going to give me three points. One, two, three. All right, now I got this left. I want to use my, uh, my orange for sure. Uh, Although I could use my three, oops. Uh, this is not great. I want to carry over one of these two colors for next turn. I think I'm going to carry over my red so that next turn I can maybe get to a higher value red. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Let's put out my reds here. Now I got four purple. Do I just put out four purple? 
Uh, I have this four covered, I have this four covered, I have this four covered. You know what, if I get all the fours covered, I score a ton of points. Let's do that. I'm gonna turn in this to get purple on the four. Boom, just like that. I could have also put on the four in the middle. Maybe that would have been a better idea. Uh, yeah, sure, let's do that. I'm gonna put it in the middle. So if I cover up this, this, and this, I'll get an extra tile from the side here. All right, so there you go. There's everyone's turn. I'm gonna do the reset. Although I do need to fill this up first. Now the reds come up. All right, reset. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Ooh, lots of wilds. Oh, not that many actually. All right, now we're gonna put the middle back in here. We're gonna turn this over. I'm gonna put all these tiles on their side of the board. And there you go. So Billy's still gonna be first player. Let's go to the next round. All right, Billy's still first player. <laughs> He's gotta pick tiles. What is he gonna do? <laughs> Looking at his board, I don't really have a strategy anymore. Uh, maybe he's gonna try to get five of any color and then a three purple to sort of get a bonus here and sort of expand out here. He doesn't want to get a purples because I think he's shooting for getting all the purples here for 20 points, which is great. But unfortunately, there's almost no purples out there, so he's gonna have to use wilds to put a guys out there. So, per uh, Maybe he's going to get a lot of greens to start filling in here, so it'll jive well with this purple. Sure, let's do that. He's going to go for greens. Uh, the wilds are yellow, so I think what he's going to do is grab these three. Probably his best move. And put this in the middle. So what am I trying to do? I'm trying to get red as well, so I can fill up my red, but also I can fill up the, maybe the sections out here. Uh, I do want blues as well to finish my blues and I want yellow. So I'm going to focus on these three colors. Whoops. These three colors and try to fill it in as much as I can. Um, so yeah, so let me get reds. So maybe I'll get here. And then I'll work on these two colors. There's not, not a lot of reds out there. So let me get these two. Now Billy's going to go. I think he's going to keep focusing on the green. Although he needs purples. Purples, oranges, greens, reds. Uh, I think he's gonna take the green because with the five green, he can put it on this tile right over here. And then he's just gonna need a couple of purples. So he's gonna take these two. Is there any other way to get better green? No, he's gonna grab these two. He's gonna go in the middle. Now it's my turn. And boy, that three blue look really good right now because I can play one and two right over here. And then I would just need a three yellow to finish off this section here. Or I can even put three here. Three blue here. Oh, looks really good. The wild is yellow. I can grab a red and a, a wild as well. You know what? Let me do it. I'm going to take the three blue. Let's do it. So that's going to lose me four points. But more importantly, I'm first player and I, hate, I love going first. All right. So now it's going to be Billy, who I think is going to grab from here, and I think he's going to grab the orange and the wild. He's going to go in the middle. And while I'm here, might as well take the two red. Then Billy, I guess, will take... He does need the purple. He's good on purple, so he'll take the purple. Then I will take the... Okay, if I take the wild, that's my only tile, but I don't want to take from here because then it'll dump all the tiles in here and then he'll get two tiles instead of just one. So I'm going to take just the one wild. Then he's going to go grab from here. And again, he needs oranges to fill up that section there. So I think what he's going to do is grab, let me double check. He doesn't really want blue. Purple actually works well for him. You know what, he's going to take the purple instead. He's going to take the purple. He's going to go in the middle. Then I'm going to go, I'm working on red, blue, blue is pretty good for me as well. Uh, let me take a, yeah, blue is good too, because if I don't use it, it's going to be a wild next turn. So I'll take a blue and he's going to go, I think he's going to take another green. Then I'll go and I'm forced to take that. There you go. We're done. <laughs> pretty simple. All right. I'm first player for once and I think I'm going to skip his placement. I'll just summarize and I'll summarize the reset because you sort of know how it works now. So let's just play. 
my placement phase, and I think for sure I'm going to place six red. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to play on the six here. And that'll score me three points. All right. So now I'm going to shoot for five red and three to finish this off. Uh, orange this turn, uh, sorry, yellow is wild. I only have one wild this turn, which isn't fantastic. Um, uh, I could do three blue to place here. Or I can actually do five blue and put the five here. Uh, do I go for high numbers or do I go for low numbers? Sure, let's go for high numbers. Let's see how that works. I'm going to turn in five blue. One, two, three, four. Although blue or wild next turn. Maybe I don't want to use all my blues. I can carry over five, four blues and I'll be super, super... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm searching for? I'll be able to do a lot next turn with my wilds. So you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to carry over my wilds. It's going to be a crazy... Ne next turn, I'll, I should be able to do a lot of stuff. So now I don't have a lot of choices here. Um, I think what I'm going to do is place... One red... Here. And I'll play these as an orange. Because remember, yellow is wild. And I'll place it on the two orange here. So I'm missing two to get another two tiles here. I'm missing one to get three tiles. And yeah, I'm missing three to get a few. So I'm working more more, more or less in this section here. And now this one goes back in the bin. And there you go, there's my turn. Oh, I did score one point here and one point here. It's two more points. Keep forgetting to score. There you go. So, okay, let me just show you what he's gonna do. Um, he's got three. He wants to fill up this five for sure. So he's going to one, two, three, four, five. There you go. He's going to put the five here. So that's going to be four. That'll score him two points. One, two. Um, he doesn't have any blues to take over next turn. So that's fine. Uh, I think he's going to carry over his purple so that he can fill up his purple section with higher values. He's trying to get to that five so he can grab three tiles there. And what else is he gonna do? Um, he has to play these tiles. Well, he doesn't have to play the green, he'll carry the green. I mean, he could put the green on one green here, but you know what, he'll choose next turn what he wants to do. And now he's got two orange and two yellow and he has to sort of play these two because uh, he can only carry one over next turn. Um, so you know what, he's gonna play... Actually, he'll carry over one orange next turn because what he's gonna do, he's gonna play one orange on the one spot here. So that'll score him one point. Actually, no, he'll use both because it'll score him more points this way. This will score him three points. One, two, three. Now he's got two yellow. And the only thing he can really do is he can either put it here or he's gonna put it here. And I think he'll put it here. And that'll score him two points. Just like that, we're done. I'm gonna set up and come back. All right, here we go, turn five. So let's look at the board. I'm first player, finally. And what's the most tiles I can get? I can get three green here. But I'm not really shooting for green, but I could use also green in the inside section here to give me bonuses, which is not a bad idea. So that's what I think I'll do. So I'll take these three green, because this is wild, remember? Always take the wild. I got a ton of wild for next turn, it's crazy. Um, this is gonna go in the middle. Now Billy's gonna go. So Billy's just searching for purples, I think, and oranges. Um, so I think he's gonna take, what's the most purple he can grab, or orange. I guess he'll take these two purples. It's probably his best move. And my turn. So I'm looking for blues, reds, and yellows. I would like some yellows to fill up the bottom section here. Um, but again, this is just, Uh, blue is wild, so I can take these two. Sure, let me take these two. 
And these are gonna get dumped into the middle. And now he needs one more purple or a wild to get three extra tiles here. So he has a choice. Does he take it from there? Yeah, that'll be two tiles. So he's gonna grab this with the wild. This will dump in the middle. And now this is getting way too lucrative that I can't really pass. I'm gonna take the the red, so that's gonna be minus four points. Kinda hurts. Alright. But I got so many tiles. Look at how many tiles I have to place next round. I think I'm gonna go a little crazy. Uh, then Billy's gonna go, and I think what he's gonna do is he needs the orange anyway, and there's no other orange, so I think he's gonna grab the orange. Because he's already got the five purple to place on the purple there, so that's fine. Alright, then I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna do the. I need yellows, so I'm gonna grab the. Although I could grab. No, I'm gonna grab the yellow. Like that. So he's gonna go in the middle. Now Billy's gonna go. What does he need? He needs to keep getting purples, I guess. Um, yeah, sure. So I'm gonna get a purple. It comes with a wild. And then I'm gonna grab a green or a yellow. I think I'll grab a yellow. And then he'll grab a green. And we're done. <laughs> pretty, pretty simple. All right, let's place on my board first. All right, so I think for sure what I wanted to do is put the five red over here. That'll score me one, two, three, four, five points. So one, two, three, four, five, which is probably my best move right now. So I'm gonna place this here. That's gonna score me one, two, three, four, five points. Boom. So whenever you finish a flower, they're always all connected, you're gonna score six points, right? So now I need three red, but I don't have any other red. And remember, you can't use three wild as a one color. You need to have at least one of that color. So I'll have to finish it off next turn, which next turn red is the wild. So yeah, it's gonna hurt a bit. Um, now what else do I wanna do? I want to finish off some of these yellow sections over here. Well, I did wanna use the, uh, the green to place a green right here. And I think that's what I'm going to do for sure. So I'm going to do three green to put a green here. So that's going to score me two points. Throw that in the bin. And now I got a ton of blues and a ton of yellows. Uh, I could turn in two yellow to place it here, but I think I'd rather turn in three yellow. Uh, Sure, let's do that. I'm gonna turn in three yellow, like this, to put it here. That's gonna score me four points. Actually, I did forget to grab my three tiles. Duh, <laughs> I'm so ahead of the game. Uh, I think what I wanna take is the two red. And I'll show you why, because I'll get to place it here. And another yellow, because I'll get to place it here. There you go. So my move didn't really screw anything up, so I'm going to play three red to place here. So that's going to score me six points. Finish the flower, that means I'm going to score 14 points at the end of the game. Even though he's probably going to finish purple and get 20, but eh, what can you do? So now I got a couple of options here. Um, I think I'm gonna keep some of my blues to go into next round uh, so that I can fill up this section here and here maybe. So I'll keep these two. Um, and I think with these two, I'm gonna play them to play it here. So that's gonna score me five points. Look at that, I scored a ton of points this round. And it also finished a pillar, which is get one tile from here. And I'm not gonna be that picky, I don't think. So blue or a yellow. Should I get a yellow? Although I don't need the yellow, I just need one yellow next turn. So I don't need reds or yellows anymore. I need blues and basically maybe orange. There's no orange. <laughs> so uh, do I start going into this section here or this section here? 
Um, I think I'm gonna start. I do need an. Uh, there's no orange. <laughs> there's no blue. I don't want the yellow. Although I I could use the yellow to fill it up here as well because there's no yellow in here. Uh, no, I'll just take a green. Maybe I'll fill up these two greens so that I can connect, make some connections. So I'll take a green and I'll carry that over into next turn. There you go. So now let's do the other player's turn. I think what he's going to do is one. Okay, I, got, I got to fill up the board first. One, I took four bonus tiles this turn. It's really good. All right. So what he's going to do very quick turn in five. One, two, three, four. I think he's gonna use the all purples. He's gonna place it here. That was scoring four points. That 20. But that's gonna give him three tiles. I think he's gonna grab a wild for sure, so he can use it. Uh, he's gonna need two more. And I think he's gonna go for the purple. So he can put a three purple here. So he can finish this and get another tile. And he could he could also use some greens so he can finish this whole section here. So I think he does need two purples. All right. So now what can he do? What can he do? What can he do? He can put one of anything here, but it has to be a non-blue or green. So it has to be an orange. Um, he doesn't have any red to put there. I think what he's gonna do is play a orange at the one level here. So that'll give him one more tile here. And I think he's gonna go for the purple as well. And let's see if he can finish off the purple this round. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. And I think that's what he's gonna do. So, uh, by the way, that scored him three more points. One, two, three, sorry about that. All right, so he's gonna turn in one, two, three purple to play it here. That's gonna score him five points. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, sorry. That would take care of another two. So then one, two, three, four to place it in here. So that's going to be 11 points in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Look at that. And he finished, more importantly, the purple flower, which is the most in the game, which is 20 points. Uh, so next turn, he's going to have a couple of greens here. You can place it now or you can hold on to them. I think he's going to hold on to them. And also the orange, might as well hold on to it, so maybe he'll place here. He'll probably end up placing it here, but who knows. And there you go, we're set. I'm going to reset it, I'll be back for the last round. Alright, last round of the game. So, I'm going to be first player. Let's think about this a little bit. So what do I need? I need to get some blues maybe to fill up here to get some bonuses. I need to get uh, one orange to place here. I need at least one yellow to play here. And I can get some greens to play over here, uh, which wouldn't be so bad. Um, all right, so let's. I do need some greens anyway, so I think what I'm gonna do is grab these three greens and toss this in the middle. All right. Now, what does uh, Billy 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 over here need? Um, he needs at least three red. Unfortunately, there's no real way for him to get it unless he grabs from here. But then he'd have to grab all the red to place right here, which is a shame. He could go get some greens just like me to play here and get the double bonus. Oof. I don't really like his board. He could sort of work for the middle, which is oh, I forgot to take these out. Which is anything. But the problem is he's already placed green and an orange in there. Oh, what does he do? What does he do? Don't like his, uh, he, okay, he has two green to place on the two and he needs another green to place here. And maybe he'll place here and on the four. So he's gonna try to get greens here, one, two, and three. And maybe the four here, try to get bonuses. He could also try to put the one or the two on all of the stars so that he can get the end game bonuses, which is eight points, which is a lot. Um, and he might do that because he needs the two here. He has the two here, he needs red. He has this one, he needs blue. All right, he needs a bit of everything. So let's see. So if he's going for the twos, uh, let's see how we can make this work. Uh, although he's gonna try to shoot for the four and if he can't get the four of anything, then he'll try to shoot for the twos. All right, so he's got two green. I think he's just gonna get more greens. Uh, the wild is red. It's not really 
great options out there. So we'll take two more greens, which sucks because I wanted the greens. So we're both fighting for greens, which sucks. So I need one more green for sure to, f or no, seven. I need three more green to fill up these two. Oh no. So what I'm gonna do is grab this, which just comes with the wild. Give me more greens. And now Billy is going to, let's see. He could grab the orange and that'll give him his four that he needs to place here. So yeah, I think that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna grab the four orange, he's gonna lose four points. Oops. Oh, did I, ah. I probably screwed up the scoring somewhere because I think I gave him my points and him, anyway, it doesn't really matter. I'm just here to show you how the game works. <laughs> and we were close anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So if we're off by less than five points, we'll see who the winner was. Um, all right, so now it's my turn. Um, I do need one extra blue and I need one extra yellow. So I actually need both of these tiles, right? Because I need to put the one here and I get the other two to place here. So the two blue goes here. I need one more blue to go here and I need one yellow. So I need both these tiles. All right, there's a ton of blue left. So what I'm gonna do is take the yellow. Mm. Although red is wild. <laughs> so I'll take the yellow from here. So at least I get the wild that comes with it. So this goes in the middle. Then Billy's gonna go. And I think what he's gonna do is, there's like no way for him to get a red. <sighs> Just thinking about it. He's gonna fill up this section here to get bonus tiles. Maybe fill up here. He could get, so he needs three, four, five, six orange and a green in total. So I think what he's gonna do is grab the green one here. So if he can grab the other green, he can fill up these three spots here. And maybe he'll use the orange here. Sure, let's figure that out. Um, there you go, he grabbed, then it's my turn. I think I'll grab the... the problem is if I grab a blue, one of them's gonna end up hitting the floor because I only need three blue. But I don't see a better option, so I need a blue anyway, so let me just take the blue. And Billy's gonna go. Uh, she doesn't care about blue. Purple he doesn't need. Green, he can keep getting green, sure, why not? He's gonna go in the middle. <sighs> Do I take more blue? I don't want more blue. Blue is terrible. I don't need yellow, I don't need blue, and I don't need purple. So doesn't really matter which one I take. I don't need either of these. I might just go for here. So I'll take two blue. There you go. Let me do that so I can put it here. Then Billy doesn't really care about these two. I guess he'll take the one to place it here. Then I'm stuck with this, which will be placed here. All right, so final time. We're gonna score for Billy. Okay, so he's got some options. He can fill up this whole section with this and score a ton of points. So I think that's what he's probably gonna do. Uh, so he's gonna turn in four Yeah, he doesn't have a choice he's gonna turn in four to place on oh no, he already put an orange in the middle I didn't calculate that correctly. Oh, no All of these are gonna hit the ground. Well, I screwed up hard for Bill. <laughs> I didn't know that he had that orange there. Okay Let's pretend that he didn't have this orange here and let's give him back three points. All right. All right. Let's just pretend I'm pretending Mistakes were made. So let's put this here and give him back three points. And now for this one, he'll put it here to score four points. Whoops. As I said, where mistakes were made. And then he's gonna place this here, to score three points. I'm probably gonna win anyway, I think, but uh, we'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he has six tiles left. Now let him decide what he wants to do. I think he's just gonna fill up these three spots here. So one, two, three. So that's gonna be one, one point. And then he's gonna go one, two. Although he's gonna get tiles first. Um, so he's gonna end up getting three tiles. Yeah, that's fine. So he's gonna go to one, two to place here. So that's gonna score him an extra two. 
And that gives him a tile from the middle. I think what he's going to do is take a... There's no reds. I think he's going to take a yellow. And then he's going to play this here. So that's going to score him three more. And then he gets two more tiles and I think he's going to take the yellows. And then he's going to turn in three yellows to place it over here. Now it's going four points. One, two, three, four. There you go. He's done. All right, besides his final scoring, but we'll be back for that. Now look at my board. The far superior board. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so let me fill up this section first, just so I can get my bonus tiles. Oops, I got to fill up the... Uh... We ran out of tiles. Sorry again for that noise. Got to fill up the tile section here. All right, so I'm gonna fill this out first. So what I'm gonna do is uh, play two blue, place a blue here. That'll score me three points. One, two, three. Then I'm gonna play one blue, place it here. That'll score me four points. Now, more importantly, I did finish this. It's gonna give me two tiles, and I think I'm just gonna grab. What do I actually need? Uh... I'm going to have a ton of blue left. I can put blue here, which will score me five points. I could also put the two blue here, which will score me four points. Um, or use the five blue to place here. And then with my green, fill up these two. But I want to, one, two, three, four, five. If I can get seven, I can fill up these two. Uh, so five, yeah. So I'll take the... Uh, I'll take the two wild. <laughs> why am I even why am I even thinking about it? <laughs> I'll take the two wild because you can use wild everywhere. Alright, so there you go. And then I'm gonna obviously use my one yellow over here, so that's gonna be six points. That's pretty good. Next. Um so I can use three and four to fill up these two, grab some more tiles. Yeah, sure. So let me use one wild. So I'm gonna use four green here. So that'll score me one whole point. Then I'm gonna do three more green here. Score me two points. But I get two more tiles, look at that. Combos. Um, What do I need? <laughs> I do need an orange. I just realized that. So I'm gonna take one. And... Uh, let's see, I can put the one here. I do need one more green so I can put on the one so I can have ones everywhere filled out. So let me take another green. Sure, let's do that. Done. Okay, next. I'm gonna play an orange here. Which scores me two points. I'm comboing all over the place here. <laughs> I'm scoring a ton of points. Which give me another two tiles. Oh boy. Um, so I got my purple to place here. I got my green to play here. I can get two more green to play here. Sure, let me get two more green. Um, yeah, let's do that. All right, next, I'm gonna play my one purple here, so there's one point. Then I'm gonna play my two green to place here, which is three more points. And then I'm gonna place my one green here, which is four points. Yeah, I think I definitely want this one. And then I'm gonna use my... I'm gonna lose some points anyway. Oops. Sorry about that. And I think what I'm gonna do is I won't be able to. Oh man. I really want to place here, which will give me two tiles. Sure, let me do that. So I'm gonna use two blue. Right? So two blue to place here. Which will give me two points. 
Uh, sorry, four points. But it'll give me two extra tiles, two pillars. Oh god, I'm running out of pillars. Uh, I don't really need blue. Uh, I think no matter what I take at this point, they might just drop on the floor. No, actually, they don't drop on the floor if I take these. Actually, you know what? You know what's a better move? Aha! Oh no, that's only a four. If there was one more blue, I could have put a five here to score five points. Uh, and again, here I can't really do anything. Four. Yeah, so this is going to be a waste, but I'll take that. That's my two tiles here. And there you go, I'm pretty much done. Uh, just to get rid of as much tiles as I can. Because uh, this is going to drop on the floor for sure. So nothing I can do about it. And I think just to get rid of these tiles. Actually, I can use three. Well, it ends up being the same, I think. Actually, no. If I use actually three, and I place it here, that's going to score me three three more points one two three and now i'll lose an extra point all right there you go we're done let's go to end game scoring all right so end game scoring you're gonna look at three things all right you're gonna look at the stars first so uh unfortunately player two only did the purple so that's 20 points so he's at 48 so that's gonna be 68 and that's it which is really bad he's not gonna win <laughs> And then he's going to look if he completed any of the, the objectives here. And he for sure he didn't because he didn't have any blues anyway. So he can't get that. And then for any tiles he had left over, he's going to lose a point, which he doesn't have anyway. All right. All right. Then we're going to go to my board. And I'm going to score a ton of points because I'm only one point behind. So um, so I, st I score my star. So I'm going to score 14 for this one. And yellow is 16. So that's 30 in total. 30 plus 67 is 97. So 80, 90. Seven. Wow, I'm gonna kind of destroy him, but sorry about that. Must have done something wrong with him. And then we're gonna score the bottom here. So I have all the ones done. So I'm gonna score four more points one, two, three, four. And then finally, you lose points for any tiles you have left over. So I'm gonna lose two points. One, two, and there you go. There's the game. Uh, I must have done some strategy stuff wrong with this player. Maybe I should have gone to finish off another flower or star, it would have been probably better off. Uh, either way, that's how you play. Uh, I'll give you my thoughts in a couple seconds. All right, uh, let's talk about the Azul game, Summer Pavilion. So, what are my thoughts on the game? I really love Azul. Uh, this one is my favorite. <laughs> All right, this is the one I have in my collection. I don't have the other two. I sort of gave them away. I actually like the Glass of Sintra more than the first one because I find it more strategic. But obviously, the first one's a bit lighter, so a lot of people like it. But I really like this one because what I hate about Azul is being forced to take tiles that you don't want and then they all fall on the floor. I know some people like it, but I really hate it in the first one. You can just get hosed randomly. Like you start off the round, you don't know, but by the end you're getting six of one color and they all fall on the floor because you can't play it. But you couldn't really strategize that at all. So it's just complete randomness. I mean, you could spend five minutes there just counting and I've seen some people do it and it drives me bananas. Some people just counting all the uh, possible outcomes so they, they grab it so they don't get the negative. This one, you're never really forced. If you grab a bunch, well, you can always carry over four into the following turn, and it's very, very rare that stuff's ever gonna fall on the floor, right? If somebody forces you to take a six of something, you're like, yeah, man, thanks. <laughs> you're just gonna use it on your board, right? Uh, so that situation rarely, rarely ever happens. So that's what I love about this one compared to the other ones. What else is great? As like all the other Azuls, the pieces are freaking amazing half the fun is just hearing the clinky sounds all over the place it's very tactile it's great components are all good although this board you know after selling millions of copies of this game they could have made it at least a card like a thick cardboard and not just a piece of paper a little disappointing uh again player pieces are uh, player boards are thick cardboard why can't the scoring board be thick cardboard eh, who knows um the art is great the colors are great uh although in bad lighting the red and orange are a bit similar but that's why they have the markings on the orange which is fantastic they thought of it already all right it's cool you combo together you're trying to get extra tiles you put them on there and you go for stars i really like it all right there's nothing bad to say about this game it's my favorite azul uh if i were to rank them three two and one um 
uh, I know every there's some people in my group that think the complete opposite one two and three but there you have it so on six what do I give it I give it a six it is by far one of my favorite entry-level games it's fantastic you can play this with anyone put it in front of grandma she'll be able to play it put it in front of your dog he'll be able to play it well maybe not <laughs> maybe a parrot but uh, yeah it's fantastic super easy to play super enjoyable play it four players in under an hour two players in under 30 minutes uh, there you go everyone should buy this it's great um, all right click the link below for the rules and setup video that you may have missed uh, although it's pretty simple uh, we'll see you in the next video. Later.